Many times when I prayed for someone, the person told me, but I don't have faith. And I always answer, you don't need to have faith. Just relax and let me pray for you. Scripture gives us a very clear answer to this question. Let's look at it together. But does the sick not need faith for himself when he's prayed for? The answer is no. It's very clear in scripture that at least one needs to have faith. It's either the sick person or the one who prays for him, or both. It is very clear that the Roman centurion had faith for his servant. Matthew 8 says the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Please note that Jesus healed over distance. The person you minister to doesn't have to be present. Distance in the spiritual realms is not a problem. I experienced many miracles via the phone, even into another country. This also includes deliverance. I remember I was literally driving my car on a WhatsApp call into another country, of course with earplugs connected to the mobile phone and I drove a nasty demon out of somebody's life and it left the person. So distance is never a problem. The Syrophoenician woman came to Jesus on behalf of her daughter. After Jesus said to the woman she had great faith and not to her daughter. The woman had faith for her daughter. Matthew 15 says then Jesus answered and said to her, O oh woman, great is your faith, let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. On another occasion, four men were carrying their paralytic friend on a stretcher to Jesus. It clearly says when Jesus saw their faith, the word there refers to the four friends and not to the paralytic. The four men had faith for the paralytic. When Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, whose faith was it? Lazarus or Jesus? Of course Jesus. Jesus had faith for Lazarus. Then Peter had faith for the lame man at the gate of the temple. Acts 3 says, Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. So, in answer to the question, no, it doesn't necessarily mean the sick has to have faith as long as the person praying has it. And therefore the sick cannot be blamed if nothing happens. Thank you very much for watching. Our next question will be, but I don't know how to heal the sick. We will highlight a few aspects to keep in mind when praying for the sick and how to do it. See you soon.